Well, good morning. I thought I would do something a little bit different this morning. Uh, I'm, I'm out here in Euclulet, and uh, we've gone fishing with, uh, with Rudy and with Ron, and I was able to catch this great fish, praise God. But I, I, thought, about, I thought about the ocean, and I thought, you know, some of my greatest experiences with the Lord were along the ocean. It was times where I stopped and I, I examined the, the incredible beauty that we see here. And not just the incredible beauty, but how it goes on and on and on forever and ever. And I remember one of the greatest experiences I had was I was thinking about eternity. How in the same way you can't see the end of the ocean, you'll never see the end of eternity. And it was a real moment for me. And uh, last week, we had the very sad passing of Tracy into the presence of the Lord. And, and it brought me to this place to sit down and just to ponder and to think once again about life and to think about eternity. There's an incredible, beautiful scripture in Revelation. Revelation chapter 4, verse 6, it says, In front of the throne there was what looked like a sea of glass clear as crystal. And I thought about this, and I thought about the, uh, the incredible beauty of the, what, what John saw there. The Bible tells us about a river of, of life flowing from the throne of God, and Ezekiel talks about that. And, 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 and I see it as culminating and coming before God in a beautiful sea, a sea that brings, brings precious life, and, and it's all in the presence of God. And then if you go further in Revelation chapter 4, it talks about the elders worshiping day and night and singing holy, holy, holy. And I thought about this verse as I stood here at the sea and I thought about Tracy, about her being in the presence of the Lord. And folks, what came to my attention once again here was we look at life and we put so much effort in the right here and now. And we forget there is so much more beyond there is a, a life really doesn't start until we get to the other side, until we get into his presence, into the presence of the Lord, and we truly enjoy him. And what happens is that we get so consumed with now that we forget there is so much more waiting for us. I've been reading a book, uh, The Fox's Book of Martyrs. And I've been reading about how the Christians went through incredible persecution throughout cent the centuries. Some of the things they would be done is they'd be brought to a place like this. And they would be brought on a, on a raft with a large stone tied around them and they'd be pushed off into the ocean. And, you know, the people that did it, they were rejoicing because these guys were gone. But the truth is, they were passing from this sea into the sea that is before God's presence, that crystal sea that is there before God. So, folks, I, I want us to stop and to consider, take time and just examine your own life. Take time to examine what are you putting your effort on, your effort in, what is important to you, and is it bringing you closer to God? Or is it taking you away from God? Maybe, uh, maybe you can take some time in the last couple of weeks of summer and, and stop and go to a place like this and just once again ponder, what does God want from you? Where does God want you to be? What does he want you to do? How does he want you to live? Maybe you need to stop and ponder that life has no guarantees. That as Tracy, a young lady, she went into the presence of the Lord. We never know when our, when our day will come. But can we live it to the fullest for God's kingdom? Tracy did. She lived it to the fullest and she's enjoying his presence. She's enjoying that crystal sea. She's enjoying standing before the Lord and hearing the angels cry, Holy, holy, holy. And I think she's doing the same. Can I encourage you today to do exactly that, to cry, Holy, 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 in your quiet place. For me, right now, it's, it's by the sea. Wherever that is for you, can I encourage you, take time and worship God. Father, Help us never lose sight of the fact that life is a gift and every moment is precious and we need to live it out to its fullest. But God, most importantly, we need to live it out in a way that honors you. Help us to take time to 
reflect, to examine ourselves, and to worship you. Father, we know we will stand at, at, before your throne one day, before that crystal sea. Help us, Lord, to enjoy being in your presence today, to find that quiet place, and to reflect on you. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining with me today. I know we've deviated somewhat from our, our regular studies on Source Peter. We will get back to it, but I thought it would be good just to reflect here this morning. God bless you. We will see you on the weekend.